Your offer as an agency owner can be the difference between signing several high ticket clients and scaling past $20,000 a month or being stuck with bad clients who don't respect you or no clients at all. And it was the offer that I sold that scaled me from zero to 25K a month in just 90 days. So I know how important this is. It's also the same offer that got Hussein from zero to 12K a month in just 90 days with a brand new agency. And that got Joe from zero to 10K a month in four months with a brand new agency as well, allowing him to quit his full time job and go all in on his agency and the offer that allowed Jaden who is a part time worker at Walmart who is in high school to go from zero to 7k a month in just 90 days. So that's why in this video I'm going to show you the best offer for SMMA beginners so that you never have to worry about signing clients ever again. Now before we get into what offers are just absolutely ripping right now in chat scaling we need to understand what an offer is, why an offer is so important and what's the difference between a good offer and a bad offer. Let's start with why an offer offer is so important. The first thing is that people like to buy offers, not services. Everyone on earth will buy something if they put in $1 and make two from it. You have to think about it this way. Literally, what are they exchanging their money for? What is the result of your service rather than just the service itself? 99% of SMMA owners don't have an offer, which automatically will put you in the 1% if you do. And it also makes you stand out in your marketing. You can hit deeper resonance within a market when you have an offer rather than just a service or just offering marketing. Imagine if you were running ads to buy your service. What makes you different? It's the outcome that you're actually leading with in the market. What do they actually get? It's not just about the service. You have to think about the end result and sculpt an offer that paints that picture of the end result. Now let's talk about what a service is versus an offer. A service would be something like, I'll help you grow your business. And an offer would be something like, we will help you book 10 to 30 calls every single month on a pay per call basis. When you compare these two, it's just so clear to see which one people actually wanna buy, which one's enticing, and which one no one would even give a second glance at. It's not important how you get them the results. It's more more important what result they're buying. Now with an offer, there are more skills required though, but this makes it so much better because you could stand out from your competition and you can offer a specific thing instead of just helping with everything. For example, you don't wanna help a business just grow. Right? You don't want to say, I'll help you grow your business or I'll help you with marketing. There's so many little nuances and sub niches that you can go into like marketing, sales, content, copywriting, operations, appointment setting, or even how generating leads works as a whole. When you have an offer versus a service, you can charge way more because you're doing a specific thing and you're guaranteeing a specific result, which is what they want to buy. Now I want to give you some examples of some absolute terrible offers, some bad offers, guys. And I see these too much, even in my email inbox today, even in my LinkedIn DMs, my Instagram DMs. So I'm telling you, they're not going to work. Stop doing them. These are terrible, terrible offers, guys. Number one, I will grow your business. It's way too weak. It's way too vague. It's way too general. It doesn't have any meaning. Like, what does that mean? You help me grow my business. Like, what are you going to do to grow my business? What result am I going to get it? Number two, I'll run cold emails for your business. Okay, but what is the result that I'm getting? What is the result that you're offering to people? Also, when you do something like this, you start to compete on price and not offer, which is terrible because you don't want to charge low prices. You don't want to compete in price because there's always going to be someone who's going to charge lower than you and they're going to go with that person. Number three, I'm a growth operator. What, what, what does that even mean? Do I have to explain that? Here are a couple more. I'll run your Facebook ads for you. I'll do your email marketing for you. I'll do cold calls for your business. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Those are services, not offers. Okay, guys, does this start to make sense? Now, let's talk about what makes a good offer. Number one is going to be the dream outcome. Remember, that's the reason that they're buying, right? The dream outcome is very important because they don't want to just buy a service. They don't want to just buy Facebook ads or cold emails or email marketing. They want to buy the end result of what's going to come when you do those things, right? For example, what do Facebook ads lead to more to? More sales, right? More leads. You have to talk about those things, not just the mechanism, not the Facebook ads, the dream outcome. Number two is the perceived likelihood of achievement. You want to tell your potential clients how likely you are to actually get the results. And the way that you're going to do this is with case studies, social proof, testimonials, references, basically who you've worked with and how they're similar to the clients that you're reaching out to. Number three is going to be time delay. It's basically how much you can do for them and how long it's going to take you to get the result. And then number four is going to be effort 
and sacrifice. It's basically how much they have to do versus how much you're going to do for them in order to get the end result. The more that you do and the more that you take control over, the better your offer is going to be. That's why for more beginners, especially in the SMMA space, you're going to want to do completely done for you offers because they resonate more with your market and there's something more that they want to buy. Now I want to talk about the absolute best offer for an SMMA beginner. The best offer out there right now for anyone trying to start an agency is this. It's a lead generation offer with a tangible pay on results guarantee. For example, I will help you generate 10 to 20 qualified sales calls with your ICP every single month on a pay per call basis. Meaning if I don't book calls, I don't get paid. This is an offer that's absolutely ripping right now for me and my clients. It's absolutely Chad scaling. So many of my clients are doing five, 10, 15, 20 K a month. And this is the exact offer that got me from zero to 25 K a month in just 90 days. Now, the reason why it's such a good offer is because number one, no one else is talking about it right now. No one else is doing it. And number two, you're targeting companies and businesses that actually have a big budget and you have something that they need. Instead of going after dentists, roofers, and like subcontractors, you're going after businesses that need leads, like B2B businesses, like marketing agencies and software companies. And these businesses are willing to pay way more. And number three, it's an absolute no brainer for these businesses to work with you because you're doing everything on performance. Everything is paid per result. It's pay per call. So you're only getting paid if you actually generate them the calls. Go ahead, steal this guys, use it. And I guarantee you, you guys will get much better results than what you're running right now. So that's the best offer to sell for an SMMA beginner, a pay per call lead generation offer. I've even given you the exact offer that you can steal to go out there and start signing some more high ticket clients. The difference between keeping your clients and not keeping your clients is going to be getting results. Any kid with a laptop can send emails and book calls, but can you sign those clients, close those deals, and then keep those clients consistently so you can run an actual real business? Stealing someone's offer is easy, but knowing the back end operations and the fulfillment of what makes an agency work and actually scale is the hard part. So if you want to learn how to set up a lead generation agency, how to set it up, how to sign your first couple clients, and how to actually get results for them so that you can scale to 10, $20,000 a month, click the video on screen to watch my 100% free course next.